got a bunch of solar goodies in. These are some Styon STL-130A um, frameless PV modules. Solar Boulevard dot com had these guys on sale for I think 45 cents a watt on counting shipping which is about 300 something dollars all in all is about $1,800 for a case of 25 of these modules they are frameless so mounting them is a bit of a pain compared to normal conventional modules but um I have some solutions and workarounds um one thing is that these aren't all um 130As, um, at least one of them that I took out just to test was a uh, just STL-130, or no, ST, yeah, STL-130, uh, STL was the uh, framed version, which would have been more convenient, but these will work. Um, two individual ones, don't know if those might be, oh well, uh, anyways, I think this was boring. Um, one quite interesting thing is that these have a, uh, no, intelligent auto -focus. I'm just trying to adjust the camera, is that they do have this interesting little whatchamajig on them, which the MC4 connectors lock into, and this actually does unclip from the junction box, but in these two little holes, there's just a little copper or brass tab, I think on the color it might be yellow brass, um, I don't know if that might be cheaper than copper because this is effectively disposable. But um, that just allows the installer to easily test the modules. Um, open circuit potential, short circuit current, what have you. As well as verify functionality. Um, so yeah. Well, not, not too bad. About $72 a thing. Actually about $73 a module because these were a little bit more than... But yeah. Big case. Quite heavy. Not quite, or actually a little over 0 0.4 tons of solar, but uh, yeah, 3,250 watts worth. There's the one STL-130 module in the case that I had out for testing. And this is the frame that I'm going to base the design for the frame that I'm going to build for these guys off of. It's uh, not going to be exactly like this. This is a lot more cross members because this I built for some solar roofing tiles that I got really cheap, but then ended up not using. Although probably end up putting some on this frame, especially just to get some life out of it because uh, it's starting to dry rot. At least some of the horizontal members because those aren't pressure treated. Um, what I'm going to do is build a frame with a pair of cross members, probably three, maybe one at the top just for structural integrity reasons. And each of the pair of cross members is going to have some clamps that I'm going to build because in the uh, documentation for this um, uh, module, there's a certain region about 11 inches to 18 inches or so from each end of the module where you're supposed to clamp it on the sides with uh, either stuff that they pro either... I think Stein would provide, or some standard uh, frameless module mounting clamps, but because poor, uh, what I'm going to do is just get some strips of self-adhesive um, uh, silicone from a McMaster car, and then on each of the cross members where a module is going to be mounted, those cross members, of course, are going to be positioned at the two regions where the module is supposed to be clamped. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a... Um, a, a metal bracket, probably aluminum, if I can get it cheap, because I, I have a possible source. And then all that's going to do is just, cr and that piece of aluminum at the bit where it's going to clamp the module on the edge is going to have another strip of uh, self-adhesive uh, silicone. Because if you look at the uh, edge of the module, there's this about half inch wide region all the way around it that doesn't have any of the active cells. That's what all these little uh, lane things are. Um, well, this is fairly typical of a lot of uh, amorphous type modules. These particular ones are SIGs. Um, got these really cheap because uh, evidently the manufacturer doesn't make these anymore. The small they list on their website now are I think uh, 145 watt modules which are same size as this just more efficient uh, cells. But um, some 
even some vendors selling these individually, these things are almost $300 a piece. And uh, this one was $73, so a decent price.